This is Union Station. And this is where all those protesters who wanted to destroy things came yesterday after the speech from Benjamin Netanyahu. Here, these were the flagpoles where flags were uh, taken down and Palestinian flags put up, American flags were burned. They've already been replaced. This statue in the memory of Christopher Columbus, where they painted, you could still see the remnants of that red triangle, and they painted Hamas is coming. Behind me is that main monument you saw here at Union Station that got defaced with all the protesters uh, because of the Benjamin Netanyahu speech, but it wasn't because of Benjamin Netanyahu. It's because they are Marxists. They do side with terrorists. They want to destroy Western civilization. We're no longer in a place of debate. We have a full understanding. As a matter of fact, the people that I've seen here who have been taking a look at what happened, taking a look at the graffiti and certainly upset at all the cost it's going to cost them to clean it up, they are solemn. They're like, again, one more thing, and look at what they're saying. What they're saying about Israel, they're saying, hey, this can come to you if you don't stop. The level of threats that were painted in, 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 in the graffiti and the spray paint on this monument is incredible and should serve as a massive wake-up call to so many in the country to understand exactly what the level of the threat is. This is about tearing it down. This isn't about changing Israeli policy. This isn't about free Palestine. None of that. Never mind, you can't find Palestine on a map. This is about destruction, pure and complete destruction. That's what all of this is about. What's amazing, as, as I'm talking to you right now, there's just a guy sitting, listening to music, wearing a keffiyeh hanging out like it's an average Thursday, not a care in the world, maybe read a book, maybe go have a lemongrass smoothie later. Some of the slogans that are painted on uh, this uh, monument, end Israel and free Gaza and free Palestine, are absolute threats, including the concept of Muhammad is here. So there is a lot to take from what took place in Washington, D.C. on Wednesday night after the speech of Benjamin Netanyahu. The cleanup has already begun because they certainly don't want when people uh, arrive at Union Station for this to be the first thing that they see. I don't think it could be said uh, enough the level of threat that this is, the level of violence that we've been seeing on these subjects, and most importantly, do we still have a place where Americans don't think that this is a threat to them wherever it is they live? It's painted on the walls here, but it is reality for everybody uh, across uh, America. There is a serious, serious problem, a serious disease problem with people, call it Marxism, who want to absolutely burn down what the nation is and look for any excuse. And eventually they won't need excuses at all. It's been a very, very good trip. Uh, to Washington, D.C., seeing the speech of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel. Don't forget to check out everything I do at TonyKatz.com. And you can hear me on the radio, all the radio dials, and, of course, in my home of Indianapolis on 93.1 FM WIBC.